I accidentally copied someone else's song. Now what do I do? Don't wanna get sued. Okay. So what do you do when you've been writing a song and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how easily this is coming to me. Uh, this is amazing. It's like it's just pouring out of me and I'm not even having to think about it. This amazing melody is just so hit factor. And then you've been loving your song and then you realize that you've just ripped off uh, a song that already exists. And that's why it was so easy, right? Um, this just happened to me. Yeah, it just happened to me. And in this case, I wasn't copying anyone else. I was copying myself. Uh, I, I was like, oh, this is just coming to me. I mean, it's, it's money work. It's, it's work that I'm doing for a client. And, uh, the problem is that it's, a song that I, I'm copying a song I wrote for the same client last year. Now, the rhythms are different, but my pitch patterns are the same. So what do you do? Well, this is where you need to understand, first of all, not to freak out. Sometimes one or two tiny tweaks can take something that feels like it's copying something else and completely disassociate it. So first of all, you need to understand what the structural notes are of your melody. So in terms of pitch, if you're thinking of pitch patterns, um, the, the pitches that land on the strong beats, the one and the three of a four, four time or the one E and uh, it's a one and two and are the stronger beats than the E and the uh. So the pitches that land in those places, the pitches that are most frequent and the pitches that are at that last the longest. And the first and last pitch and the highest and the lowest pitch. All of those things tend to be the more influential structural parts of your melody. So that is one thing to look at. Like if there's a note that's resolving to another note, maybe resolve it differently or maybe take a passage and shift it up or down a third so it's still within the chord or you can take your your melodic phrase and just shift it to where it's starting on a different beat and maybe something that started on a downbeat before now it's starting on a pickup and shifting it in and of itself could maybe be enough but i wouldn't recommend only doing that depending on how much you're copying you'd still probably need to change some if not most of the actual structural notes of your melody but i i'm saying this to let you know that it happens to the best of us it happens to everyone it's inevitable don't freak out about it you can edit it you don't have to throw the whole thing out you can edit and if you edit in a smart way you can totally disassociate what you've done that is copyright infringement and make it unique and you can salvage it 